Okay then, so here's a quick tutorial on how to add a portfolio entry and then how to link a menu to that portfolio page. So if you have a quick look on this example for forestmachineservices.com, we have used machines and special offers. And we can see we currently have three of those. This is our menu item here. And each menu item then links off to that individual portfolio page. And in this case, we have this AFM 75 head. So I'm going to quickly show you how we do that. If we go up to our dark gray bar, once we've logged in, of course, and we can see we can add various items and we're going to look at adding a new portfolio entry. So we give that a click. And straight away, we can give our new product a name. I'm going to call this TWDA test product. And below there, because we are using the Enfold theme, we have the option of using the Advanced Layout Editor. And this really helps. So if we give that a click, we can now see all the lovely elements that come with the Enfold theme. And what I've done in this particular case, I've created a simple box. And down here we can see use product box. If we give that a click, we can see an example I've used from a previous product where we have an image on the left, a title, some text, and a quick gallery with further images of that product. So what I'm gonna quickly do is change the title to test prod. I'll leave that copy there in the description. I'm gonna to go to the masonry gallery, give that a click, and we can see all the previous images we had there from the last product. So I'm going to click add edit gallery. And I'll delete all of those, we don't need those. I'm going to add some more. And of course we can use images that we've previously uploaded in our gallery, or of course we can upload images. We can either drag and drop those into this window, or click on the select files and locate them on our computer. Remember, just to keep these image sizes to a web-friendly dimension, ideally less than a thousand pixels wide. So for this case, I'm going to go back to the media library. I'm going to choose three different images and click on the blue button, add to gallery. Great, there they are. I'm happy with those. So again, the blue button, insert gallery. Fab. And because we've only got three images, I'm going to change it from a six column gallery to a three column gallery. And again, if I had 12 images, I might go to a four column gallery. So we had three rows of four. I'm going to click save. I might come over here and change the main product image. Again, remove the one that's there, click on insert image. I'm going to go for this rather interesting looking thing here. Change the size to large in this case. And there we can see it. Kind of click save. And that's the main content of our new product ready to go. Over here though, on the right hand side, we have a few admin jobs to do. First one is tags. So in here I put tags such as um, ATM head machine comma or whatever the details might be test. Click add. We can see our tag words there, and again they just help Google find the product. And below there we can see we have two categories. I've created one for the used products. So I'm going to go ahead and tick on the used products. And that means we are now ready to go. We can go ahead and publish our new portfolio or used product page. Great, so we can go away 
and have a look at our hard work by top grade bar, view portfolio entry. Great. So here's our page with our large image, our title, our description, and our masonry gallery with the three images. But now you'll notice if we go to the use machines page, it's not showing up on this list here. So we're going to create a new entry for our test product and add it to this list. So on the use product page, we're going to go to edit portfolio entry. And we can see here, we have a small box saying catalog. We click catalog and it opens up and we can see the previous entries. Again, if we had sold this winch, for example, we can click on the X to get rid of the winch. But for this case, we're going to simply add our new product. So we're going to click on the add button here, then click on the word item and it should open up for us. Again, let's give it a name, test product. The description will go in this box here. Again, just a couple of lines of text will be fine. The pricing, we're just using TBC for now to be confirmed. And then here, it says, where should it link to? Now we're going to link this to our new test product page. So we're going to have to link to a portfolio page. We're saying, great, okay, which portfolio page? Right, if we scroll down here, we can see TWDA test product. And we're happy with that. So we have our title, our description, our price box, Actually, we could also, also include a little thumbnail image. So we'll click on change image. I use that same as a red machine there. We have the link to a portfolio page and then we're telling it which portfolio page to link to. When we're happy with those, we can click save. And we can see it down in our list, test product. So we click save again. And now all we have to do is add that new link to the page itself by clicking update in the top right hand corner. Okay, off it goes. Again, we can view our hard work. We can now see our list here where it did have three items. We now have four items. Here's our test product with our title, description, thumbnail image and our price point. So if we now click on the word test product, it will link across to our new portfolio page with our gallery and our titles and we're all good to go. Okay, so I hope that helps. That's creating a simple portfolio page within the Enfold theme and then creating the link using the catalog list that links across to our new product page. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if there's any problems, give me a call, but uh, all the best. Bye.